Imagine teaching a robot to pick up any object it sees, understand its shape, adjust its grip, and place it precisely where you want, all without writing thousands of lines of rigid control code. That's exactly what reinforcement learning allows us to do, and it makes this project one of the most exciting hands-on introductions to modern robotics. Most, instead of manually programming every motion, we let the robot learn through trial and error, improving its strategy with every attempt. It figures out how to grasp different shapes, sizes, and materials, and adapts quickly to new items in a bin. This matters because warehouses, logistics centers, and production lines desperately need flexible automation. Traditional robot programming is slow and expensive, often requiring weeks of reconfiguring for new tasks. RL systems, however, can adapt within days and reduce deployment time dramatically. For students entering AI or robotics, this project builds a foundation in both learning algorithms and real-world manipulation skills. It gives you practical insights into how robotics is evolving and prepares you for the kind of adaptive systems used at Amazon, Flipkart, and modern manufacturing lines. To understand where RL-based pick-and-place systems shine, imagine a warehouse filled with thousands of items of all shapes and materials. Instead of needing rigid, specialized robots, companies now want a single robot capable of handling everything from books to bottles to packets with ease. Reinforcement learning enables this flexibility, making it a valuable skill for anyone targeting careers in robotics or automation. In manufacturing, RL lets robots adapt to variations in part size or orientation without constant reprogramming, which keeps production fast and efficient. In food service automation, RL helps robots handle delicate ingredients safely while maintaining hygiene standards. These use cases show how RL is replacing fixed logic with intelligent behaviors that improve over time. For engineering learners, this project teaches how robots perceive the environment choose actions, and correct mistakes. Industries hiring in this space include robotics companies, warehouse automation providers, manufacturing tech firms, logistics giants, and specialized AI labs. Employers value candidates who can design systems that are resilient, adaptable, and safe to operate. This project is your entry point into that world. Developing a robot pick-and-place system gives you a rich mix of reinforcement learning, computer vision, and robotics fundamentals. You'll work with popular RL algorithms like PPO, ASAC, and DQN variants, while learning concepts such as reward shaping, exploration strategies, and curriculum learning, which help the robot improve gradually instead of relying on random actions. You will use frameworks like Stable Baselines 3, RLLib, and OpenAI Gym, and run virtual training inside PyBullet, MujoCo, or IsaacSim. On the robotics side, you learn kinematics, inverse kinematics, grasp planning, force control, and trajectory generation, which teach you how real robots move, reach, and avoid obstacles. Computer vision plays a key role too. You explore object detection, depth sensing using RBGD cameras, and point cloud processing to help the robot locate objects accurately. You integrate all components through real-time control systems, sensor fusion, and safety protocols. Recruiters love seeing these skills together because they prove you can design full robot learning pipelines, not just toy simulations. Python libraries like PyTorch, NumPy, OpenCV, and PCL support every part of the workflow and make experimentation smooth. The implementation journey begins inside a simulation environment, which is the safest and most efficient way to train robots. You load a robotic arm model such as a UR5 or Franca Panda, build a virtual bin of objects, and set up observation and action spaces that define what the robot sees and how it moves. Next, you design a reward function that guides learning, offering positive rewards for successful grasps, smaller rewards for progress, and penalties for collisions or wasted motion. This shaping is crucial because it helps the agent learn meaningful strategies without millions of random attempts. You then train an RL agent like PPO for one to two million steps using curriculum learning, starting with easy objects and gradually introducing more complex ones. After training, you perform sim to real transfer by adding domain randomization so the model can handle variations in lighting, textures, and physics. Finally, the system is deployed on a real robotic arm 
integrated with vision pipelines, safety limits, and dashboards that track success rate and throughput. Beginners may take 12 to 16 weeks, intermediates 8 to 10, plus extra time when using real hardware. Start building this today and put it on GitHub. Completing this project positions you directly for high-value roles in robotics, especially those centered on reinforcement learning and manipulation. Companies are looking for robotics RL engineers, manipulation AI specialists, warehouse automation engineers, and applied robotics scientists who can train robots to interact with the physical world. Recruiters want hands-on experience with RL implementations, a strong understanding of kinematics and control, and the ability to transfer policies from simulation to real hardware reliably and safely. They also appreciate candidates who contribute to open source tools or publish experiments, since it proves you can solve real problems and communicate results. Adding portfolio keywords like PPO, SAC, PyBullet, MuJoCo, Sim to Real Transfer, and Stable Baselines 3 will significantly boost your visibility to hiring managers. Companies such as Boston Dynamics, ABB Robotics, Universal Robots, Covariant, Fetch Robotics, and Amazon Robotics actively hire in this field. Salaries start at 10 to 22 lakhs in India and reach 100 to $180,000 globally, with top research labs offering even more. This project demonstrates that you're ready to work on the future of intelligent robots.